Hey guys, it's Ray here. Welcome back to what is a very hard, hard video for me to make. Um, it's important that I'm open, I'm honest and truthful. It's important that I don't hide things from you guys. And, you know, I, I think it's just time to let this video out. It's been a long time in the making and I can finally express myself and tell you guys about some stuff that's not just about art, you know, it's not just like, ooh, testing art hacks, you know, it's something that I've been wanting to talk about, so, um, yeah, let me just start from the actual beginning so I can explain. So, the channel that you're watching right now, Super Ray Dizzle, was created back in 2010, and I started making YouTube videos in 2011, and it was so much fun. It was something that I did all the time and I loved making these even if I got, you know, tons of dislikes, I didn't care because I loved YouTube. I loved watching YouTube. And so I it's been over 10 years, you know, that YouTube has been a part of my life. Even in college when I went to get my degree in artwork and I was studying oil painting, even then, you know, I would take Every once in a while, I would still do a YouTube video. I would still update my life to my 120 subscribers that I had. And I would get so excited when my videos would hit, you know, 20 views. And, I mean, YouTube did take a back seat because I was focused on the multiple jobs that I had. And I was focused on, you know, painting and oil painting and getting these concepts out. And back then, you know, when I was studying artwork, it was much different than how I make artwork now. Um, one of my favorite things to do was just lock myself up in my room and paint all day, all weekend, all week. As soon as I would get home from school, I would just paint, put on a podcast and paint, paint, paint. And it was pretty much at that point when I realized that I want to do this for the rest of my life. Like, I love painting so much. I want to keep doing this. Flash forward to me about to graduate college. I had no jobs lined up except for, you know, freaking big five sports apparel. And I was in a panic because I didn't know how I was going to make money. I didn't know how I was going to be an artist. And I didn't know how I was going to sustain myself. And so at this point, I kind of got the idea of like, hey, Maybe I can get some people to see a YouTube video and direct them to my Instagram and so I can sell my artwork and so people can see my artwork. And so, and so that very night, you know, I pushed two chairs against my coffee table and I taped like a broom and a mop to the chairs and I made this like really makeshift tripod thing, you know, that would hold my little camera that I had bought for you know, just stupid selfies or whatever and to make YouTube videos. And that night I made my very first art tutorial and I made it all within like two hours, even the thumbnail, everything. And that video was the do's and don'ts of drawing an eye. And that video was not a good video. You know, that was like the very first time that I ever even thought about trying to make a YouTube video related to art. And lo and behold, that video got a million views a million which you know to me that's insane like to even fathom that my video could get a million views and so I graduated college I was working at big five you know hating my life hating the job and when I would get home to my little crappy apartments you know for making seven dollars and sixty eight cents I I started like making YouTube videos all the time in art related videos because that it, it was two birds in one stone. I started making tutorials and speed drawings and how to's and tips. And I mean, back then, you know, nothing really was big on my channel, but it grew and grew and grew. And eventually I was able to be a full-time art YouTuber. I was able to, to, to not have to work at big five anymore. And as my channel grew, as I started getting subscribers and getting fan mail and getting, you know, a disposable income, YouTube, I'd started taking it more and more and more seriously. And YouTube became not just a hobby anymore, but this is my career now. This is what I, this is putting me on the track 
to my career as an artist. And YouTube isn't no longer just a hobby. It's my everything. It's where I go to feel good about myself. It's where I go to learn stuff. It's where I go to entertain myself. It's my paycheck. It's my channel. It's my creativity. It's where I put my art. It's me. Like I started equating my YouTube channel to myself. And with current YouTube, it's important to note that you have to upload at least once a week to get that, you know, recommended, to get that watch time, to be in the algorithm, or else if you don't upload, then it pretty much, like, wrecks your channel, your analytics drop because you're not getting promoted, because you're not putting anything out. So it became very stressful for me to upload as often as I could. And, you know, that put a lot of pressure on myself. Like, I gotta get this out every Friday. Gotta get this out every Friday. Gotta get it, you know, every Friday, 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 Friday. And I started getting into this weird bubble where I started prioritizing YouTube over everything else in my life. Like, for example, I gotta upload on Friday, so I don't need to eat because I gotta work on this video. Why why should I go to the gym? I need to work. You know, that's gonna be an extra 20 minutes. <laughs> you know, my house, chores, everything. Like, family, friends. None of that matters because I need to work. I need to edit. I need to get this video out. And I need to put all my time into it. And, and eventually... It got to a point where I was under a lot of pressure constantly. I was like a ticking time bomb, you know. I would just have these stupid fits of rage. I mean, one time I broke out into hives all over my body from this immense amount of stress. You know, sometimes I would just shake and cry and scream because I was so putting this dumb pressure on myself. And anytime my channel would go through a slight dip downwards or a slight fluctuation, I would put immense pressure on myself. I would freak out. I would start overanalyzing everything. And I started putting so much pressure on myself trying to focus on the thumbnail. I need to focus more on the funny edits. I need to focus more on watch time. I need to focus on everything, everything. And so I started taking these shortcuts that would alleviate just an ounce of that stress that I was building up. So obviously I can't not focus on the thumbnail. I obviously can't focus on the titles. I can't not focus on the editing or the funny edits or the noises or the background noises. So there's only one thing left that I could take shortcuts on and it'll help me get the video out. And, um, that's my artwork. And it worked for a little bit until it didn't work. And not only was I in the same cycle, but now my artwork is declining. I'm not able to express myself. And I just... <sighs> this is really hard for me to admit, but I just got to the point where I wasn't enjoying making art and I wasn't proud of the art that I was putting out and I wasn't proud of my videos and I I hated waking up filming under this immense amount of pressure and I was making art for the wrong reasons and, you know, I started seeing a lot of comments like, wow, Ray's so bad at art, Ray's so this, Ray's so that. And, you know, not only that, but now my views are declining. And I just, and I felt so inauthentic. I felt uncomfortable with myself. I felt insecure. I felt tired, stressed. <laughs> And I didn't know what to do, you know, like, what was I doing wrong? I'm, I'm doing the, what the algorithm says. I'm, I'm taking things that have worked in the past, but, you know, the views are declining. My fan base is unhappy. And so I had asked on Twitter one night, very defeated, like, what can I do? Like, what, what do you guys want to see from me? I don't know what to do. And to my surprise, within minutes, 
within minutes, I started getting tons and tons of responses saying, well, we just want to see you do artwork. We just want to see you do colored pencils and charcoal. And I want to see you oil paint. And I want to see, we just want to see you make artwork and be happy and do what you love to do. And we want to be along for the ride. And at that point, it just clicked in my head why I've been absolutely miserable, why I've been stressed out, why my soul has been beaten and broken down. It's not that I need to focus more on the metadata, the thumbnails, because I'm not making the art that I love. I'm not living my life that I need to live. You know, I believe that I'm on this earth to make artwork. And if I'm not doing that, then I'm not happy. And... You know, it sucks that I was trying to focus so much on this formula in my head that I was trying to focus on the wrong thing. And it just clicked for me. And yeah, it's fun to do it sometimes, you know, test out art hacks and weird supplies. But that can't be all of it, you know, be- be- because I want to do artwork. That's what my- I'm an art channel. <laughs> like, what am I doing? And I, I want to say I'm sorry to you guys for not only being the authentic Ray, but I'm sorry to myself, you know, for putting on this dumb stress that doesn't even need to be. And this brings us to this week, where for the first time, I decided to pick up a paintbrush for me. Something that I want to do, something that I love to do. And I'm going to do some realism. I'm going to mix it up a little bit. I'm going to get freaky. I'm going to get weird. I'm going to just express myself and let all this that has been building up out. Finally, just let it all out. But that's not going to be it. You know, like I want to expand. I want to grow. I want to like just let it all out. And it feels so good. And it feels incredible. And, you know, I'm not going to lie. You know, it stings every single time that one of my fellow artists tells me, well, I want to see you get more creative. I want to see you spend more time on it because I know I could be doing it. I know I could be creating, but I'm not. I'm focused on this stupid thing that I've made up in my head. And honestly, guys, I can tell you that this week has been probably one of the best weeks I've had in months because I feel free again. I feel me again. I feel like the art. Oh, I can't believe I'm crying. I feel like the artist that I meant to be. And it feels so good. And I just, I just, I, I guess like my soul is happy. And anyway, what this all comes down to is that I realized I was putting myself under all this pressure and that I didn't need to. I mean, it does matter a little bit because, you know, I do need a paycheck and, you know, I want to put savings and stuff. But, you know, I'm not here just to make money, just to make a paycheck on any of that because obviously it doesn't feel right for me. Obviously, I can't do it. What matters more importantly over everything is that I am still that girl, you know, in my room, painting, enjoying myself, expressing myself. And it feels so good to finally just be able to be open and honest with you guys, not have any crazy edits or anything like that, just to get back to basics. And oh, this is the most relief I felt in such a long time. And everybody who watches me, thank you so much for your support for everything. And I'm so glad to say for the first time in a very long time, here's my first oil painting that I was able to do. And it feels so good. And yeah, with that being said, guys, thank you so much again for watching. Thank you so much for listening to my rant. And I will see you guys next video. Bye.